In today's lecture, we'll go over violations of the closure assumption and open population models for estimating abundance. I'll begin with the closure assumption and conditions where the assumption is robust and finish with the open population Popin model. To begin, let's review the assumptions for the closed capture recapture models. The closed models assume demographic closure, in other words, no births, deaths, emigration, or immigration, that is, no permanent movement. The assumption of geographic closure is that animals do not move on or off the study area, that is, no temporary movement. The implications for violating the closure assumption is that population size n may actually correspond to the superpopulation, that is, a larger group of animals in the surrounding area. This means the population estimate applies to an area larger than the grid itself. If we want to estimate population density, or the number of animals per unit area, then we may need auxiliary information such as telemetry data to estimate an availability parameter. For the two sample situation, if animals move in and out of the study area randomly, then the closed capture estimate of the superpopulation size n star is unbiased. If the movement is Markovian, then the closed capture estimate of the superpopulation size is biased high. Now what we mean by Markovian is that movement depends on whether the animal was present or absent in the previous time period. If recruits enter between the samples, then population size is unbiased at the time of the second sample. If marked and unmarked animals leave with equal probability between the samples, then the method is unbiased for population size at the time of the first sample. When the number of occasions are greater than two, and when movement in and out of the study area is completely random, the method is unbiased for the superpopulation size n star. If capture probabilities vary only by time, then the estimators are unbiased when the recruits enter between occasions, when marked and unmarked animals leave or die with equal probability, However, the data must be pooled appropriately to account for the lack of closure. In this cartoon, the points represent a trapping grid on a study area, and the ovals are the home ranges of individuals. And what we're talking about is emigration from the study area to the surrounding landscape. When emigration is random, then m at t plus 1, the number of individuals in the grid is biased high, but the number of individuals in the superpopulation is unbiased. Here, alpha represents the probability of availability at time t. When individuals emigrate, then availability and detection are confounded. If we can estimate availability using auxiliary data, then we can correct the bias in the number of individuals in the study area. Nevertheless, we can often correct bias due to movement by pooling the data into two capture occasions. For movement outside of the study area, we can pool all but the first occasion and then use the two-sample Lincoln-Peterson estimator. In general, we want to pool before and after the egress begins. For movement into the study area, we want to pool all but the last capture occasion and then use the two-sample Lincoln-Peterson estimator. That is, we want to pool before and after the ingress ends. So here are a few examples. For emigration only, if we pool before and after the egress begins, the two-sample Lincoln-Peterson estimator is unbiased. If emigration occurs between all the time occasions, then we can pool all but the first time occasion, as shown here.
for immigration only, if we pull the data before and after the ingress begins, the Lincoln-Peterson estimator is unbiased. And here, if there was no immigration between capture occasions 3 and 4, then we would pull the data for the last two occasions. Otherwise, if immigration occurs between all the capture occasions, as shown here, then we would pull all but the last occasion. The closed capture models are not robust to closure violations when movement is Markovian. That is, movement in or out the next period depends on where you are right now. And accounting for this kind of Markovian movement is an area of current research. When individuals enter and depart only once, then we can use the Jolly Sieber open population models. The Popan version of the Jolly Sieber model has four parameters. B is the probability of recruitment between occasion I and I plus 1, with survival to the next occasion at I plus 1, and the recruitment parameters must sum to 1. C is the probability of survival between occasions I and I plus 1, and P is the probability of capture at occasion I. In this example, there are four capture occasions. So prior to time one, individuals recruit with probability B and are captured with probability P. In the interval between times one and two, individuals recruit with probability B1 and emigrate with probability one minus C1 and are captured with probability P2, and so on for capture occasions 3 and 4. The major assumptions of the Jolly Sieber models are unmarked animals in the population have the same capture probability as marked animals in the population, newly captured unmarked animals are a random sample of all unmarked animals in the population, and capture probability is the same for all animals at each sampling occasion. Here are examples of PIMS for a POPAN model with 10 capture occasions in program mark. The PENT parameter is the same as the recruitment parameter B from the reading. The parameters PENT1, P1, and PENT2, or V9 and P10, are not identifiable without additional constraints. The use of individual covariates is limited for POPEN models, and you'll want to see the MARC documentation for this. The POPEN model can be fit with specific closure assumptions and included in the candidate set of models to test for closure. A closed model can be fit by fixing the recruitment parameter B to 0 and the survival parameter phi to 1. A deaths only model can be fit by fixing the recruitment parameter B to 0 and allowing survival phi to be free. And a births only model can be fit by fixing survival phi to 1 and allowing the recruitment parameter B to be free. There are a few other tests for closure out there, including the Predel model, using the same idea as the Popan, Program Close Test, which is similar to the Popan idea, and Program Capture, which is sensitive to behavioral responses or time trends on P.